What's up guys, Wen here. So, today we're going to be talking about Windwalker Azerite traits. Now, this video is going to be a little bit different than the Hunter Survival trait video because these traits are very, very good in both PvE and PvP. Now, we're mainly going to be talking about PvP here, however, these traits are very, very good in PvE, if not the best, and they're almost pretty much similar. Now, I'm going to be talking about the two, two secondary traits, not secondary secondary, but the other tra main traits that you're going to be want wanting but it's going to kind of be up to you whether or not you want to stack one over the other i'll explain both in detail and then you can choose whether or not you want to get these um or you know go shoot for this priority over the other if that makes any sense now as prior if you guys have any questions about these traits or you have any windwalker questions in general be sure to drop a comment down in the description below i'll get back to you as quickly and as accurately as i can if you guys are curious and want to see a different guide drop a comment below and request a specific guide and i'll be happy to make that in the near future if you guys have questions for me and i'm not able to answer in the comment section below and i am streaming if even if i'm streaming a different game ask anyway and i will most likely be able to answer either windwalker or survival hunter questions in as much detail as possible but with further ado, without further ado, let's get into this guide. Just going to brush over these talents really quickly. I actually have all of, at least one of each one of these, so this shouldn't take too long. So, let's get right into it. Now, as it stands right now, the best trade that you can get on every single one of your pieces of gear is Open Palm Strikes. I will explain this into, in a little bit further detail. So, on every one of your pieces of gear, you at least want one of these, and this is pretty mandatory as this is going to be your highest damaging ability in pvp which will be your fist of fury as well as pve now open palm strikes when fist of fury deals damage has a five percent chance to refund one chi and it deals x amount of damage depending on how many of the traits you have remember in pvp they nerfed every single one of these traits pretty much cut in half so keep that in consideration when you're stacking these traits the big thing about open palm strikes that a lot of people fail to realize is that the additional damage that is added onto Fist of Fury is not as a whole, it's per tick. So with this talent, when Fist of Fury deals damage, it has a 5% chance to refund one chi and it deals 2,118 additional damage. That is per tick. Now depending on how many of these I have stacked, it will increase the damage on Fist of Fury exponentially. Now, the 5% chance to refund when she is minor, you know, sometimes it helps, but it doesn't really matter. Now, keep in mind that this talent synergizes extremely well with the mandatory talent in PvP called Turbo Fist. Fist of Fury now deals full damage to all targets hit and reduces the movement speed by 90%. You parry all attacks while channeling Fist of Fury as well. Now, keep in mind that you can use Fist of Fury as a defensive utility if needed while both your teammates are CC'd or you're in trouble and you don't want to pop certain defensives. Let's say you're versing something like another Windwalker Monk that has leg sweep and you know it's coming. You can pop Turbo, you, you can pop Fist of Fury to hopefully parry that leg sweep. I've had it done to me before. I've done it on other Windwalkers before because I'm a derp and I'm really rusty. So trust me, I know this works. <laughs> so you can kind of do it on a rogue you have to remember that he does have shadow step so he does have the ability to get behind you but more than likely than not you'll be able to parry oncoming stuns if they are parryable i'm not sure this works for hodge because that's a magic ability so i didn't really plan on talking about you know utility stuff um talents i plan on talking about talents in a separate video but let's move on because i want to keep this video pretty brief Let's move on to the next talent here. Now, this is the second best talent to get, kind of. So, there's two talents that I'm going to be talking about. There is the Furious one, and there's the Spinning Crane Kick one, which I kind of forgot what it's called. But these two talents, you can, you know, determine fitting your own playstyle whether or not you want to stack this over the other. Personally, I would suggest at least having one of this talent, Fury of Zwen. Your combo strikes grant a stacking 1% chance for your next Fist of Fury to grant X amount of haste, and it invokes one White Tiger for 8 seconds. Now, combo strikes, meaning that if, as long as you use an ability that is not a previous, you know, ability, you know, keeping your 
mastery in uh in check you know not using the previous ability now the big thing about this is obviously the invoke and the haste now by having this haste it allows you as a windwalker to not have to stack so much haste in order to get energy regain now over the course of wad you know wad legion and vfa they nerfed a lot of energy regain for windwalker just because of how it scaled now by having this talent it allows you to gain back a lot of energy when this procs while channeling fist of fury not only is the fist of fury channel extremely fast it allows you to gain back a lot of energy and gives you a nice invoke talent for eight seconds now with this invoke talent i highly suggest getting pet attack macros in all your normal abilities like tiger palm rising sun kick black oak kick fist of fury and punch of the white tiger or whatever the fuck it's called which is good in pve which i can't find it is it even in the game anymore i don't fucking know fist of the white tiger <laughs> yeah there it is <laughs> all right moving on last talent dance of chi -G. now this at least in pvp i was just getting two of and the reason for this is because it's it can be very fluid and can get some pretty good burst in when needed spinning chi has a chance to make your next spinning crane kick free and deal x amount of damage now this talent in my opinion is very underrated and is very very strong now not only is your spinning crane kick doing x amount of damage it's also free and that's a huge thing so not only will it keep up with your hit combo or you know your mastery you know it will allow you with this channel to gain back energy as well and it does do a decent chunk of damage so personally me i would say just having two of these and at least one of the fury of one talents but you can mix it up if you want and have one of the fury of one talent or two of the fury of one talents and one of the dance of chi -G. However, I would least, you know, however, I would highly suggest, you know, having open palm strikes in every single one of your pieces of Azurite gear, if possible. So, that being round up, that's pretty much going to conclude this video talking about Azurite traits on Windwalker. Now, again, keep in mind that these are pretty much the same for both PvE and PvP. If you guys have any questions for me, be sure to drop a comment down in the section below, and I'll be got glad to get back to you as quickly and as accurately as i can hope you guys enjoyed i'll be releasing you know some talent guides or if you guys want to see a specific guide comment down below and i'll make a note of that hopefully i'll be able to respond to you i'll try to respond to every single comment if i can um and yeah <laughs> hope to see you guys on the stream again all the links are gonna be down in the description below if you want to check it out if you want to support me by subscribing to the channel it definitely helps us grow liking that video helps I don't like saying it, but you know, you gotta say it otherwise people are not gonna do it, but it helps me grow, it helps the video reach more people, and that's what this ultimately is about, because I would like this video to get out to as many people as it can, so it can help them out. You know, free content, pretty much. But other than that, hope to see you guys in the next video or stream, and yeah, have a great day guys.